got the uh, Speedo on a Nissan ENV200. What you'll need is a tool really like this. It's just a flat metal spatula. It just really needs to be angled to just, just get into the tops here. Um, not too sharp. You can get these from a trim toolkit um, for automotive you know, body trim removal. But at the tops here, these two on either side, there are two connectors, there are two clips that we'll see. And the idea is what you want to do is disengage the clip by pushing down in here. You might need to swap it over. And basically what happens is as that goes down on both sides, you'll see that the thing will move slightly and that will then just literally pop off. If I have a look at the other side, what you'll see is the bottom has a clip here and then the top also has just a little tab. And then these are the two bits along the top here that I was just clicking on to push down. We then come back to here. Now underneath the clocks, there are just two screws. There's one, one screw here. So I'm using just a Phillips screwdriver. And then there's one on the other side down in here. So then once these, screw, these two screws are released from under here, this will then come pop out. It will literally just pop out. It's got two tabs, one on either side. So that connector at the back will release. And you can see it's got a sort of a little button indented into the top. You just press that with your fingernail. So now if I take the old clocks, got them back, the connector back on here again, and then um, basically then fasten the bolts in there. So the, so the screws, put the trim back on, and then uh, you can plug the battery back in. And then we're up and running. Uh, but, um, so you can then see the mileage on there, 39,985. And... Um, I think the key thing is just to make sure that you disconnect the battery before you change the clocks over, put the new clocks in and then reconnect the battery. So that's the key thing and then you won't get any errors.